Hello. Kiss is known for their live shows, and also for their live albums. Let's try to see why, as we look at the top 10 Kiss songs that improved from the studio version to the live version. Welcome to all Kiss Rank. Random Kiss stuff, put into lists. Number 10. I was made for loving you. A live 3. This was a bold choice for a live 3, considering how far away they stayed from this song in the 80s. I'm pretty sure this one wasn't actually live, but was recorded at soundcheck. Either way, this version benefits from more distortion on the guitars and less falsetto out of Paul. At number 9 is, I Love It Loud. A live 3. The studio version is great and it has that amazing drum sound, but the live version benefits from a tightened arrangement, with a verse removed, and no strange fade out and fade back in again. And of course the crowd chanting back adds a lot. It makes sense they released this as the single from a live 3. Number 8. Firehouse. Alive. The studio version of this song is really slow, and they used to play it live slowly as well. Check out the Mike Douglas show appearance version. But the version on Alive moves along at a nice clip. It also works really well coming right in from the ending of Hotter Than Hell, both thematically and musically. Plus, the sirens at the end are much better on Alive than the weak bass bells on the debut album. At number 7 we have, Heavens on Fire, from Alive 3. This is probably Kiss's simplest and most straightforward song. The live version benefits from the extended drum break in the intro and the crowd singing along to the chorus and the, hear me breathe parts. At the number 6 spot is, She, from Alive. Nothing wrong with the studio version on this one, but I like the bass breakdown better on the live version. It sounds much better with Gene going low rather than high. And of course the live version has the ending riff of, Let Me Know, and Ace's solo which make it so damn cool. Number 5. Come and Home. Kiss Unplug. This was just a throwaway little pop song from Ace and Paul that was tucked into side 2 of, Hotter Than Hell. However, it was the perfect song for Kiss's Unplugged era. The guitar tones that Kiss used on the Unplugged album are fantastic and it gives this feel-good song the warmth it deserves. It's a dramatic improvement from the crappy production on, Hotter Than Hell. Number 4. 100,000 Years. Alive. This is one of Kiss's most epic songs to begin with. The studio version is long and dramatic, but the 12-plus minute version on Alive, with its phased drum solo is next level. In fact, when I think of the Alive era, the flame columns in this song are the first things that come to mind. Do you feel alright? At number 3 is, God of Thunder. Alive 2. The live version of this song is notably faster and that gives it more energy. Also, I love the way it starts off, with the four bass drum hits after the bass solo. The drum solo here isn't as great as on Alive, but I love how they come back in from it with Gene's affected scream of, I am the lord of the wasteland. Number 2, Rock and Roll All Night. Alive, this is the song that launched Kiss's career. But it wasn't the studio version, it was the live version that became a huge hit. Adding a guitar solo and a roaring crowd really turned this song into the ultimate Kiss anthem. And finally, at number 1, let me go rock and roll, alive. The studio version was the single from Hotter Than Hell. It's very short, clocking in at only 2 minutes and 14 seconds and it's not terribly interesting. The live version however, is twice as long, has several guitar solos and an incredible drum and bass breakdown in the middle. You can almost see the confetti coming down when you listen to this song on alive. That's it, the top 10 Kiss songs that were improved on the live version. Hope you enjoyed this list. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to argue angrily in the comments about how you think the Kiss Symphony album has the only good versions of Kiss songs. Goodbye.